For the Grassini sisters, Katie and Mandy, success had always meant a family tradition of education and being resourceful. But on a small swath of San Inez Valley Paradise called Happy Canyon, family tradition became a family legacy. Italians do love gardening. That's the, We love gardening and we love eating. Burned out from a law career, Katie was looking for a change. And Mandy, fresh out of art school and living in New York City, didn't know how big a change awaited her. The second you start driving through the canyon, everything just slows down, and it's just a good place to be. Together, these two young women operating in a male-dominated industry are determined to create a family name synonymous with premium wine crafted with an emphasis on sustainability. Winemaker, like that's a dream job. That's a legacy. For them, a different definition of success. Join us as we go beyond the crush. Andy and I both run the place, and I was definitely worried when we first started. There are not a lot of young people, and there's definitely not a lot of young women running these type of operations. I was coming into this industry and had a lot to learn. When I started, I was super green. Katie and I looked each other in the eye and said, it's gonna take so much work. We have to devote so much to this, but it could be, it could be awesome. We are a small group here. We can't have an HR department, you know? Me and Mandy are the HR department. One part event coordinator, one part sales. I manage our wine club, I'm kind of a cellar rat during harvest. Big sister slash therapist slash attorney. Make sure the kitchen's clean. And <laughs> slash the IT department. <laughs> My main goal is just to be respected. To be respected, you have to earn it. It's really important to be authentic, especially in the wine industry. If it's not authentic, you know you can you know it in a second. When my parents purchased this land, they wanted it to be something for their family for many, many, many generations to come and make as little of an imprint on the land as possible. So we have extensive solar panels. The winery basically operates off the grid right now. We're one of the first in Santa Barbara County and I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like 50 years from now. I think every winery will have solar panels. We recycle all of the water that we use in the winemaking process, which is a lot of water during harvest. We recycle all of that, clean it up, and use that for irrigating the vineyard. <laughs> we have a bunch of chickens running around. They provide excellent fertilizer and pest control. The eggs, we give those to the crew. Their kids are a little tired of frittatas, but what are you gonna do? The family isn't just our family, but it's also the crew that we have here that's tending the vines every day. They've been here since the beginning. We give them full control over several acres of vines every year, and we tell them, this is yours, this is your responsibility. You make 100% of the decisions about it. When it gets watered, when it gets pruned, everything. The proceeds go to a special fund for them for bonuses and emergency medical problems, things like that. And it makes them feel like part of the family. The people that work on these vines day in and day out, feel a lot of ownership. Everybody loves this place. I think it's reflected in the wine that we are able to make. The way that I would describe Grassini Family Vineyards wine is surprising. People do not associate Santa Barbara County with Cabernet. I love meeting one of those people who looks at me and goes, oh, Cabernet, you can't make a good Cabernet in Santa Barbara. And I just go, okay. Come here! It's really cool to kind of take them by surprise. Every time I change somebody's mind about growing these varietals in Santa Barbara County, it's like another feather in my hat. Happy Canyon is a very, very special place. It's unique in the wine world. During the time of Prohibition, there was a gentleman that was living back here in one of the canyons that had a still. And so people would come up here to go get their hooch or whatever, and then come back and they were in a much better mood than when they left. So everyone just started saying they were going up to the Happy Canyon. <laughs> we like to think that we're keeping that tradition alive. <laughs>
these wines with family and friends. When people are totally satiated with a good glass of wine, that's my favorite vibe. Loads of dishes to wash later, but who cares, you know? This job is such a blast. It's a blast. I mean, you're working, you're working in heaven. I mean, it's beautiful. Then you get the added bonus of working with your sister. And then at the very end of the day, we have this beautiful wine. That's a legacy. That's something people hold on to forever.